G'day everybody, welcome back to Dinkum, hope you're all doing well. Yesterday was, I don't know, interesting? I suppose it was, sort of. We uh, probably just worked on a few things that we needed to work on in town, namely the project. I think we uh, set up a couple of camping sites as well, but we did forget some of the sleeping bags that are uh, actually required for those camping sites. So uh, we probably might actually do that uh, and, and, you know, like grab a few sleeping bags and actually place those down today. Uh, but as, aside from that, I thought it was a pretty standard day. Um, didn't really get up to too much. And uh, I would say that today we will probably be continuing with the Western Connection project a little bit more. Uh, let me just quickly check on tasks. Okay, definitely no tasks that we need to complete today, so that's okay. Uh, one other thing that we might consider doing is we might think about whether or not we want to get ourselves another doggo. Um, I'm not committing at this stage, guys, just because, um, you know, that means we're going to have to, like, feed it as well and make sure that that doggo is also safe. And as you know, um, Spike is already sort of stressing ourselves out uh, while he uh, roams around the farm, particularly when he's roaming around the... Uh, the rivers, so, hmm, I don't know, I'm, I'm still umming and ahhing about it, guys, uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, I have made the decision, however, to extend the paddock here, so I do want a little bit more space because I feel like having Jet here, uh, things are sort of feeling a little bit crowded now, so, yeah, we might think about maybe leveling out the soil around this side and seeing if we can just like extend the uh, the paddock a little bit more that way uh, they've got a little bit more space to roam around in which is gonna be good but uh, I'm not entirely sure if we'll do that today we might actually think about doing that in the next few days or so but uh, anyway uh, we picked up some fertilizer we probably want to start some more I can't remember how many bones we're going to need for a next batch of fertilizer, but let's just quickly check right now to see if we have enough. Yes, we do. Looks like it's eight, so we have just enough. Um, time to get all of the farm work done, so let's grab our tools for the animals, and uh, I might do a quick pass through to see... Uh, what sort of seeds we might need for the day and uh, whether or not we're going to need our scythe. So let's have a walk around here. Okay, looks like some of our uh, wheat is ready, which is good. I might actually wait a little bit more until the wheat in this particular row here uh, becomes harvestable. That way we, we can set the timing a little bit better. The rest, obviously, is going to be a different timing for now. Let's take a look at these onions. Okay, still not ready yet. I'm waiting for the rest to be uh, ready for harvest. Uh, things in this patch look good. So does this patch. And on this side, we've got some more potatoes. But uh, I don't know. Should we wait for the timing to correct itself? I feel like we shouldn't with these potatoes, guys. The uh, reason why is because, well, this is the only season that we have to plant potatoes. I think either either we have just this season or we, we might have another season to go as well. But uh, my point is we don't have much time to work with for those potatoes. So um, I don't know how Spike... Managed to get in there, but let's take him out and, uh, yeah, let's feed him his breakfast right now and, uh, we'll, uh, let him do his thing. But, uh, I think 
Really, we only harvested those potatoes, so we probably only need, like, some potato seeds. Uh, I can't even remember how many potatoes we took from there, so let's just quickly check that again. Uh, okay, so, looks like we picked up maybe three batches of potatoes, so let's quickly go and grab three potato seeds. And, uh, once we've done that, I think we're going to be ready to head into town, get a few things going there, and then set out to, um, you know, obviously do all of the other work that we mentioned before. So, got some extra poos here as well. Right, so, three potato seeds. Maybe we should go visit the greenhouse sometime very soon. Um, see if we can replenish our potato seeds. We do have plenty of cherries on, uh, are we just going to call this maybe Cherry Road? Because this is where we keep all the cherries. Might not be a bad idea. Um, we should actually try and grill these cherries because I would like to bring 50 grilled cherries to Jimmy whenever we can see him next. Alright, so let's, uh, drive the bike all the way to this side and we'll quickly stop here, get these potatoes in. All right, good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, go to the workshop, get the workshop going. Speaking of the workshop, guys, I, uh, I should actually increase the size of the workshop because I was sort of looking at the comments the other day and someone mentioned that according to the wiki, the, um, the windmill has like a, an effective range of, I can't remember now, but it might be like 20 or something like that, or 10 each side, which means that we can probably expand it a little bit more just to give us a little bit extra space. And I don't think that's a bad idea because it does sort of feel a tiny bit cramped in here. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll consider that. But uh, anyway, let's, as I said, get a few things going. So uh, let's get a couple of bottle brews going and um, let's get cheese and the uh, cloth going as well. I'll uh, quickly grab this. Well, I guess I'll have to grab everything then. <laughs> I was going to just grab the the bat zapper, but uh, anyway, that's okay. We'll spend a little bit of time putting away stuff. Um, are we keeping the cherries here? Okay. Should I spend time grilling up the cherries today? We may as well. Grab the cheese. Maybe we can uh, clear the quarry over there. Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter if we leave it for a couple more days. Uh, what else do we have? We've got wattle brews here. And a bit of cloth as well. Let's put that away. Wattle flowers. Um, bananas. I suppose we can put the bananas away. Oh yes, and uh, mustn't forget, but we do need a little bit more flower production. Yeah, so I was thinking if we could expand, perhaps maybe that might actually let us sort of get a few more machines going and uh, that way we can produce things a little bit quicker. It would be nice perhaps maybe to have like a spare grinder or maybe even another couple of grinders and that way we can sort of grind up flour and sugar and whatnot uh, a lot quicker than we are currently doing because, uh, yeah, we, we seem to have a lot of wheat right now. But uh, I feel like a lot of the recipes call for wheat, you know, between the bread, the damper and the, you know, various carby and, you know, uh, 
glutinous products that we uh, that we have to make. Okay, just a little bit more here and should be done. All right, good stuff. So let's store away these cooked cherries. So we've got plenty for Jimmy next time we see him. Um, righto. So I think what we'll do first is we'll head into the west. We'll do a little bit of work on the western connection. And then from there, um, we might sort of consider what else we are going to do. Actually, before we leave, I better actually check the board just to see if there's any tasks that are worthwhile doing. Magpie capture reward. I don't even know how we would even begin to capture magpies. Um, would we be able to blind them with the torch? I mean, do we even have a torch? I say we might not even have a torch, guys. Would we be able to blind magpies with the bat zapper? Hmm. Ooh, another bee house. <laughs> uh, I feel like we've got too many bee houses going, though. But you know what, I'll, I might actually keep the bee house and we could always place the spare bee house at the spare house uh, out in the middle of Wu Yen, so that might not be a bad thing. Hmm. Let me see guys, I'm gonna experiment to see if it is indeed possible to blind those magpies. Um, and then to see if we can capture them that way. I have no idea if it will work, but uh, I figure it's worth a try, at least once. Trouble is actually finding the magpies. Actually, here are some magpies in front of us, so why don't we give this a try? Okay, I don't think it's working, guys. Yeah, definitely not working. Um... Are there any other ways we can um, try and capture these guys? What if we put, like, meat in these cages? Like, would they, would they be attracted to any of that? I have no idea. Did it, did it like, eat the, the meat that I just dropped there, or...? Or did I just miss one of them? Oh, nice! <laughs> there we go. Alright. We'll grab one. And, uh, yeah, well, let's maybe just leave it. Hopefully, they'll just fly into place and we'll be able to capture them. Oh, there we go. Another one. So, I guess this uh, method works. Suspiciously, today there seems to be a lot of magpies around, so uh, I, I don't know what's going on with that, but... Uh... Righto, um, we've taken the bike for a spin, I think it's time to just take the heli, and we'll fly over to the, uh, the project. Oh lord, okay, just as I was about to leave. <laughs> Okay, so I guess this episode is all about magpies and delivering these magpies to the Animal Research Center. Anyway, hopefully we catch like another couple of magpies when we get back. Who knows? I suspect though that they would actually break out of those cages if you don't like deliver them quick enough. So we'll see. I'm just hoping that uh, They'll stay in there for quite a bit of time before we, uh, before we return so that we can actually hand them in. Might actually look for treasures. Ah, yes, okay, yeah, uh, I just remembered now, but, um, we do have an issue with the shovel 
being very, very close to its uh, end of life. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the project work for too long. But we'll see how far we can get. Aside from, you know, moving soil across. Ooh, um, it means Ted's somewhere. I feel like it's a little bit harder to spot things from up here. Where is Ted? One thing that doesn't help is sometimes he's sort of hiding around in these trees. There he is. Or in between the trees, rather. Alright, let's have a chat. Let's see if he has some stuff for us to do. You need anything? Ah, actually, I have a panda hood I don't want anymore. Okay. Do you want to buy it? Could let it go for 7,000 ink. Um, I don't necessarily want a panda hood, but I can't remember, actually, if I already have a panda hood or not. Um, and if I don't, you know, I'll, I'll keep it for the sense of having it and uh, a sense of completion, if you will. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm really going to be wearing it much. They like waffles? Really now? Um, anyway, let's let's put it away because uh, I'm not too keen on looking silly all the time. Unless it's Christmas time and then we can, you know, get into the Christmas spirit or something like that. And speaking of Christmas, we had Halloween um, pass by without actually having some form of an event or... Uh, or a uh, an update for it so you know that was a little bit disappointing but I think that was roughly when Dinkum sort of released right so hmm well James is working on this thing on his own so uh, you know it must be very very tough for him so I won't won't really demand too much out of the guy because uh, to be frank this is already an awesome looking game so the thing is I'm not entirely sure if I should like just use up the entire uh, shovel or should I preserve it? Is it cheaper to buy a shovel from John? I guess that's my question. And uh, I'm not sure guys. <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember the last time I bought a shovel from John. It's been a while. Okay, so, um, I think the, the thing is here, we could probably, instead of using the shovel, we can use the dirt printer and we can actually print on top of these tiles to sort of create the soil that we need. Okay, so I sort of still want to make things look a little bit rough, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm sort of just moving around this piece of soil here just so that we can get some flat red soil in the ground. Uh, 
And yeah, I think we're gonna break this shovel very, very soon here, so... I don't know, guys. Should I just... Maybe I should keep it. Uh, am I gonna break this if I place the soil down? No. Okay, good. Let's uh, maybe keep the shovel and... Yeah, perhaps maybe we should just repair it. Okay, so I think the next part of the red soil phase is actually bringing red soil around this side. So um, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to have the ability to do that today, guys, just because... Um, yeah, well, not today, obviously. But uh, not, I, I'm not even sure if we'll, we'll be able to do it even tomorrow because we, we don't exactly have um, any shovels to work with. And I'm really not too keen on repairing my, uh, my shovel considering everything else we have is full durability right now. So I, I have a feeling that perhaps maybe we should just buy a shovel from John. I feel like maybe we should just buy a few shovels from John. Well, actually, we already have two, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I want, guys. <laughs> I'm being very indecisive here. Uh, I do want that poo, though. Um, we need to sort of decide what we want to do for the rest of today. Now, uh, let's head back to the house. I just want to check on those cages just to see who knows we might have some more magpies that we can quickly drop off if we do great if not that's okay um, and I don't know well considering uh, you know the update is coming very very soon and I was reading in the comments uh, someone mentioning that uh, the reason why I'm finding so many pearls all the time is because that's apparently a bug and um, we're not supposed to be getting so many pearls all the time. So, oh bloody hell. That, uh, that magpie was just way too smart. Okay, and this kidna's uh, triggered the trap. Let's... Let's get the trap back in, and uh, I'm going to place another piece of meat here, and hopefully by the end of the night we'll get another magpie in there. But uh, anyway, sorry guys, I uh, got distracted. What was I saying? Oh yes, uh, pearls. So, considering the pearl drop rate is going to be patched and nerfed in the next update, perhaps maybe we should spend a little bit more time fetching some more pearls. So uh, I think that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the night uh, because I do want the sweet, sweet dinks that we can get from all those pearls. Um, well, we can anyway. So, I mean, I don't even know when Jimmy's going to be coming back next time, but, you know, it'll be nice to be able to go back to Jimmy with another set of like 50 pearls if we can. Uh, now, you might be wondering why I'm going back. I completely forgot to bring our fish book, so I do want to grab the fish book with us and uh, just keep that on hand. You never know, we might have a fish that we've never seen before, which uh, we would like to capture. Because um, I think the, the ones that we've never seen before, they all come like... Uh, they all come up as like question marks or something like that. Similar to the bugs, I'm guessing. So hopefully, with any luck, we might find, you know, an unknown fish. So, yeah, better sort of use the, the fish book every now and then. But I don't know, I'm, I'm getting the feeling like we may have found all the fish. <laughs> or perhaps maybe it's just all the fish in this season. Maybe we have to wait for another season before we'll find another undiscovered fish. 
perhaps. Ah, uh, you know what have, would have been better? Um, I should have brought like either the boogie board or the festive board with us. That would have let us uh, swim a little bit faster. So anyway, that's okay. You know how hindsight works. Now, uh, I am also sort of considering whether or not we should, you know, go towards the south instead of always going towards the north to grab uh, these pearls. Now, the reason why we're going north all the time is because we, we know plenty of locations for pearls in the north. But uh, surely there are plenty of pearls in the south as well. And uh, the reason why I'm so keen on perhaps maybe going to the south and looking for pearls there is because I reckon maybe we've been to the north so many times that there's probably no new fish out here in the north that we can find. Let me just get rid of some of these because uh, we've been to all of those places. Um, those are required for the Bermuda Triangle of Death. Um, but yeah, perhaps maybe if we go to the south, we might have some luck actually finding some fish that we've never seen. Speaking of, better actually just take the fish book out every now and then. Quickly check. I don't know, there's something really relaxing about going out and looking for pearls in the middle of the night in this game. Now, uh, I'm not entirely sure about progression at this stage, guys, so uh, I have no idea if there's any, any new developments that we can, you know, ever see in town. Um, you know, so for example, the visitor's tent, like, is that basically useless now? Will we never ever have any more visitors? Ever? Seems like a bit of a shame. Let's just, uh, coax this shark to go away. I don't want to accidentally hit our jet ski, though. Okay, I'm just missing it by a hair, it feels. There we go. Yeah, get out of there. Good stuff. Alright. And on to the next one. Actually, apparently there's a couple around here. Is that right? Ah, oh, yes. There we go. The next one. All right. Um, moving on. So uh, with Ted as well. Um, apparently, Ted doesn't move into Wu Yan, no matter how good the relationship is, so I'm not entirely sure why we would need to, you know, improve that relationship if we're not really getting any rewards from it. It's not like he makes anything new um, based on our relationship with him, right? So, hmm, what's the deal there? Grab that. Okay, and let's quickly check on the fish book. Okay, definitely nothing unknown. 
Actually, we haven't been to this side, have we? Or maybe we have. No, we haven't. Looking at the, the wrong thing. And right here as well. Maybe? Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. And... Yep, time to move towards the next one. Jeez, 10.30 already. That went real quick. <laughs> I feel like today all we've done is like capture magpies and uh, do a little bit of project work. Not entirely sure if that's entirely exciting. Alright, um... Hmm. What I'm gonna do guys is uh, I might just grab one more pearl and uh, from here, we might actually swing around to the south and see if we can just use the fish book around that area just to check if there's anything that we haven't seen before. If not, then we'll make our way back home. I suppose we could probably swing by and grab a couple more of these uh, pearls while we're at it. Okay, that one's really deep, isn't it? Very nice. The sharks are out in full force today. Okay, very good, and... Let's see. Let's work our way towards that pearl for now. Got our uh, nice campfires set up from the other day. Ah, that reminds me, we, we do need to get those sleeping bags going. We need a few lamps for these areas as well, don't we? Just to mark where those, uh, where those bridges are. Do need to think about doing that very soon. Perhaps maybe that's what we can uh, look into doing tomorrow. We'll craft a few of those lamps before we leave. And then uh, that way, when we actually go out, we'll um, we'll place them where they need to go. But without the shovel to continue the work, I'm not entirely sure what else we should get up to tomorrow. Perhaps maybe there might be a few more tasks that we can look into. Or perhaps maybe even laying down some more infrastructure, as usual. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go here. Oh, obviously we're not going to get too close to the, uh, the jank area of death. But, uh, perhaps maybe we can... Ooh, found another pearl here. Let's just quickly grab that. And, uh, we'll place a marker for it. Now the nice thing uh, though is even though you know we'll see the uh, the pearls get nerfed in the update um, at least we've found quite a lot of them already and we've marked quite a lot of them down which means that you know we could harvest some of them 
perhaps maybe in the north or something like that and then the next day we can go into the south and uh, we'll let you know the the ones that we've harvested the day before recharge I mean I don't know how often they're gonna respawn but uh, I assume it won't be too long um, have we passed the the area Okay, there is, I think, so I definitely don't want to get too close to that section there. I, it looks fine now, though, <laughs> so maybe there's nothing there anymore. But uh, anyway, I am here because we want to look for new fish. But uh, I'm not entirely sure if there are any, guys. Have I found all of the fish already? I'll just maybe take a look at the Pedia once more. Yeah, we're getting real close to finding all of the fish, to be honest. So, there's only, what, six more fish that we haven't seen. Perhaps maybe we're just not in the right season for it. Quickly grab this. And quickly check on the fish once more. Yeah, I don't see any unknown fish at all tonight. So that's all right, guys. We'll uh, we'll do the the fishing another time. We'll probably wait for summer to come by, and uh, hopefully there's going to be you know a fish that we've never seen before in summer that we can hopefully try and catch. Unless maybe we're not in the right biome to try and catch uh, these unknown fish. That could be the case. Perhaps maybe there is a fish in the billabongs or in the rivers that we haven't actually seen before. But I did sort of use the fish book, you know, quite close to home and quite close to the, uh, the town. And uh, we didn't exactly see anything, did we? So, in fact, we are in the biome right now. Ooh, okay. There we go. Unknown fish. Let's uh, see if we can actually catch this one. We are a little bit tired, though. So, hopefully, we still have the strength to pull this fish in. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Let's try again. Um, let's grab that fish book once more. Okay. Uh, what I might do is very quickly have some fruit salad as well. Just to keep ourselves going for a little bit more. There we go. What we have here? I caught a blackfish. A blackfish? Um... Well, there you go. I mean, it is one of the ones that we've never seen before. I swear we've heard of a blackfish before or perhaps maybe it could be that someone had requested it from us in the past and uh, we weren't able to deliver I think that's the reason why it sounds familiar but uh, anyway that's good uh, so we brought the the fish book and it paid off so I was thinking perhaps maybe we were just not in the right season for it. So there could potentially be other fish in other seasons that we haven't seen before as well, right? But uh, yeah, I think we got pretty lucky with that one. Hopefully we can find some more at some point. What the hell is... <laughs> what the hell is Franklin doing? 
who's just like casually uh, casually swimming with the uh, with the crocs there. And the crocs are not even interested. What the hell is going on? This is just bizarre. Why? Why, Franklin? <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Well, everyone seems to be going loopy because it's perhaps maybe a little bit too late, but uh anyway, I think it's time to wrap things up. Interesting day. Um, is interesting the right word? Perhaps maybe with what we just saw, I would say it was a weird day. Um, we caught a lot of magpies, which is nice. Unfortunately, we didn't really catch one more, but that's okay. We'll, we'll perhaps maybe try again tomorrow. Hopefully we make a little bit of money tomorrow morning as we uh, collect our reward from the Animal Research Center. It is 10,000 a pop, right? So it's not too bad. I don't like that uh, magpie being so close to to our uh, crops though. So, and uh, I'm just a little bit worried about where Spike is as well. I don't see Spike. Spike? Where are you, boy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oof. Scared me there for a second. Let me just bring this trap over here. And uh, let's see if I can lure him in with some meat over there. Will he be interested? Nice. There we go. And that is our last magpie that we... Well, not really need to capture, but the last magpie that we can capture for the night. And uh, yeah, an extra 10,000 dink in the bank. But uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.